Hello, all precious, wonderful people of God. <clears throat> I wanted to take Psalm 19 Bible study today. I hope uh, we'll have a good time meditating on God's Word. And uh, it's been a while because of uh, some uh, unavoidable situations. I cannot come to you and and talk to you about psalms which we regularly meditate uh, i thought i'd finish psalm 19 today and then come back with 20 next week uh, psalm 19 is a very uh, beautiful psalm which talks which is very poetic in its appearance and uh, uh, if you read psalm 19 and verse 1 to 14 uh it's a it's poetic it's it's it shows the poetry which uh, psalmist david uh, was so uh influenced with now he imagines he starts with a beauty of heavens and if you read psalm 19 and verse 1 we read the heavens declare the glory of god and the firmament showeth his handiwork Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Now, uh, he starts with looking at the heavens. The heavens declare the glory of God. Many people ask me what will happen to people who do not believe in the Lord. Now, this verse shows that uh, if it's a believer or non-believer, uh, uh, they have all reasons to uh, to understand that there is there is a God because uh, uh, their conscience inside of them uh, uh, and if you read Romans 1 and verse 20 it says for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen so Romans 1 and verse 20 uh, being understood by things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So the the invisible things of God uh, from the creation of the world are clearly seen, are clearly seen, uh, uh, being understood by the things that are made, by the clouds, by the sky, by the sun, by the moon, by the stars. You understand the power of God uh, and everyone, uh, there is no excuse. There is no excuse from understanding God. Uh, so God is revealed to everybody by His creation. And that's what we read here. The heavens declare the glory of God. Firm him and show it His handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech. Uttereth speech. Sun and moon and stars, they keep speaking. They are speaking to people that see there is a God who created. And uh, He sets the world in motion. He sets uh, uh, things in control. Now, for me, uh, it's uh, it's very important that we understand. It takes more faith for me to believe that the Big Bang theory came into pass. Imagine you put a egg that is broken and keep on shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. The chances of it coming. Uh, into a whole egg again is I need a lot of faith to understand that if you put uh, if you if you uh, for example if you uh, break uh, 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 some puzzles or some uh, uh, cycle parts or small toy parts even and put it in a uh, container and keep shaking the the uh, the chances of it being assembled back is going to be very less. Uh, in the same way, uh, I uh, the, definitely uh, there are a uh, lot of theories around the creation, but uh, the only thing which can give us real, real credibility is the special creation concept, which says that God created and uh, the heavens and the earth, which the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And here Psalmist is saying, the heavens declare the glory of God, firm men showeth his handiwork, day unto day uttereth speech, night unto night showeth knowledge. 
there is no speech no language where their voice is not heard it's a universal language isn't it sunshine sun shining on men is a universal language it's understood by all moon and and the, and the stars uh, their their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world in them he he had in them had he set a tabernacle for the sun so uh, now now david uh, looks at the sun rising uh, from the east so it's like a tabernacle which is as which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race so when the sun rises uh, he's he's imagining that to a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and uh, rejoicing as a strong man to run a race his going forth is from the end of the heaven and is circuit unto the ends of the earth and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof so uh, the sunshine he's he's referring to this sunshine as uh, you know everywhere it goes the sunshine at everywhere and there is no uh, nothing hid from the heat thereof everything is uh, you know so uh, everything is uh, laid bare in the sun sunshine in the sunlight so what the psalmist tries to imagine here and compare here is it with the word of the lord that's what we using the sunshine he he gives a, a good explanation for the law of the lord which is which is everywhere which is all through the earth verse 7 says the law of the lord is perfect it's perfect like the sun it's perfect there is Uh, it 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 converts the soul converting the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple so when the sun goes and uh, radiates and produces its heat around the world in the same way the word of the lord converts the soul it resurrects the soul it revives the soul psalm 23 says he restoreth my soul so there is nothing so powerful as god's word now uh like the sun its word its universal language the law of the lord is also universal everybody will know it there's a conscience inside of them and uh, he has laid his law in their hearts uh when people go against the law of the lord that's where judgment strikes god simply removes the protection from their men we we land in unwanted mess so the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul we need the power of god's word every day like the sun going everywhere in shining into every part of the world we need the law of the lord to go and shine into every part of our body every part of our thinking every part of our soul we should never never run against god's word we should never make the danger of running against god's word we should like the sun uh, the word of god is 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 already there uh the bible says jesus said heaven and earth will pass away but my word will never pass away amen hallelujah so uh, you understand god's word it is it, it makes the it makes wise the simple the simple are being made wise uh and the testimony of the lord is sure verse 8 says the statutes of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the lord is pure enlightening the eyes oh praise the lord how wonderful is god's word this is a, a picture of jesus in here if you if you <laughs> like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber uh, the sunrise uh, reflects the glory of god of the lord jesus he's our bridegroom he's he's our bridegroom hallelujah tomorrow when you see the sun rising understand that it's like jesus who is our bridegroom coming to receive us a strong man to run a race he ran the race and then the law of the lord how perfect it is the law of the lord is perfect jesus was perfect jesus converts the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple and this is the same uh, uh, same thing expression or probably saint paul must have imagined the same in first corinthians chapter 1 when he said god chose the uh, lowly things to confound those which are mighty god chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise 
Hallelujah. So his word is so powerful. And we should always come under the radar of God's word, like how the whole world lies under the radar of the sun. We should come under the radar of God's word. Verse 9, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, and the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. If there is something very righteous, if there is something very pure, it's the word of God, nothing else. You cannot desire, you can go to a waterfall and admire the beauty, but you cannot come out of God's word without admiring the beauty of God's word. It converts, it, 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 it it restores our soul. It converts our soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. It gives joy in the heart. Meditation of God's word. Uh, that's there is there is there is nothing more joyful than that. Spending some time in front of the Bible, which is open in front of you. Hallelujah! There is no joy, uh, and, and and that joy which comes out of meditating together through Periscope and through Facebook or all these medium sharing with you what a joyful time it is. The fear of the Lord is clean. Many people are saying, why should we fear the Lord? But fear of the Lord is clean. Fear of the Lord is what we need. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, Jesus said, fear the one who is able to put you into hellfire. We need to fear God, have a godly reverence. Malachi chapter 1 said, if I am a father, where is my honor? If I be a king, where is my fear? Where is my respect? So all these things are very much important. So verse 10 says, More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Wow. The word of the Lord, the law of the Lord is to be desired than gold. More to be desired are they than gold. If you, if, if there are, if there is a gold mine which is full of gold, if there is a packet uh, if there is a plate full of gold and then there is a word of God uh, the psalmist says the word of God is much more to be desired than the gold amen hallelujah yea they are than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb the word of God is sweet you might be going to bitter situations today I want to encourage you to come to the radar of God's word. Come under the control of God's word. Read God's word. And suddenly you find the word encouraging you, lifting you. There is nothing so powerful than God's word, friends. There is nothing so powerful that can change our discouragements into encouragement. Our fa failures into his glory. It's so powerful. Hallelujah. Sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. The source of honey. It's it's, it's sweeter than honeycomb. Verse 11, 12, 13 and 14 uh, ref, uh, reflects on the practicality of God's word. It says, Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is a great reward. Very powerful promise. When you look at God's word, there are warnings which we need to heed. Uh, many people do not like the warning part. They like the reward part. But when the warnings are heeded to, the reward is great. When the warnings are heeded to, the reward is great. Reward is so much that it keeps your life. So when you hear God's word, read God's word, understand it, and, 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 and allow practically the word of God to engage you in your day-to-day -day life, what happens is uh, the servant is warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I encourage you to keep God's word. Heed to the warnings. There are many warnings. There are many warnings. One of the warnings which I want to tell you is First uh, Corinthians chapter 10 and, uh, and uh, verse First Corinthians chapter 10 11, verse 11. Now all these things happen unto them for end samples and they are written for our admonition for whom the ends of the world are come. So these are warnings. These are warnings. Uh, First Corinthians 10, we read that the church in the wilderness, with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown the wilderness. They were idolaters. They rose up to see, eat and drink. They rose up to play. There does not commit fornication. Do not tempt Christ, neither murmur. All these things are warnings. 
uh, Hebrews, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's a book of full of warnings. It's, it's, it's a lot of warnings there in, in, in Hebrews. In Hebrews chapter uh, 4, and uh, uh, it, 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 it says it, it warns us. Uh, and uh, uh, four and verse uh, two onwards for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it and uh, in verse uh, uh, 11 it says let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief so unbelief is is is, is very is very dangerous there is a warning there and look at uh, look at chapter 2 uh, verse hebrews chapter 2 and verse uh, 12 take heed brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living god so uh, warnings there are many warnings here so verse 90 so see so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief verse 4 chapter 4 and verse 1 let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering to his rest any of you should seem to come short of it so the word of God is full of warnings but it is for us when we walk and heed uh, the word of God accordingly we have great reward 12 says chapter 19 verse 12 who can understand his fall errors cleanse thou me from secret faults now there are secret faults without our knowledge which we do so we need to pray this prayer lord cleanse thou me from secret faults how important is this prayer cleanse thou me from secret faults verse 13 says keep thy servant from also from presumptuous sins let them not have dominion over me then shall I be upright and shall be innocent from the great transgression. The great transgression. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's very important that the presumptuous sins. That's something. What is presumptuous sins? It's 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 you know that uh, it's sin. It's it's a sin, and you still live in it. That is called presumptuous sin. You run against God. That is presumptuous sin. Uh, for example, Jonah knew he was doing a disobedient act and it was a presumptuous sin. Uh, David, when he had to go to the warfare, uh, fell in the web uh, and uh, of deception and, and, and seduction and all these things. So, uh, David fell into adultery, fornication. Just one whisker, one, one, doubt, one moment of weakness as he was into it so it's very important that we pray this keep thy servant from presumptuous sins let them not have dominion over me then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression verse 14 ends beautifully one beautiful prayer which we can pray every day let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart the words of my mouth meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my Redeemer beautiful beautiful psalm so how look at the way in which psalm is the david is coming he is comparing uh, the sun he is looking at the heavens first which declares the glory of god then he ima imagines the sun which radiates everywhere to the earth the same way there is knowledge everywhere in the earth there is the fear of the lord everywhere there should be fear of the lord uh, the attributes of god are known in the earth some of the attributes as his word the word righteous judgments is word the fear of the lord it's to be desired it is much uh, uh, it is it is the fear of the lord is clean it should it should be desired it is much uh, uh, richer than gold sweeter than honey and the honeycomb and because of the word of the lord because of the fear of the lord the servant of god is warned and there is great reward in keeping them so these 14 verses are really powerful I encourage you to keep reading, meditating. It will add joy to your life. Let's pray. Father, I pray, like how we read in this psalm, thy word is so precious. The fear of the Lord is so, it, it's much to be desired. Lord, it wants us, but in keeping them, 
there is great reward in keeping your ways there is great reward lord like every every part of the world comes under the uh, radar of the sun or the influence of the sun help us help all of us to come under the influence of god's word every sin be washed away by your precious precious blood every sin be broken in the name of jesus every presumptuous sins secret faults i pray that it will not have dominion over your people these days in a very evil world as we live as our children grow up in a very evil world as we all live in this world full of calamities and problems i pray dear as jesus that your hand will be upon everyone oh god oh god we ask you for your grace we ask you for your mercy yeah. let the meditation of our heart and the words of our mouth be pleasing to you oh god help us to live for the glory of your name help us to live for the glory of your name oh jesus you are our strength you are our redeemer blessed lord every day when we see the sun rises help us to it's like a bridegroom that comes out of the chamber hallelujah oh we pray that we will live under the knowledge of that you are watching us all over the day to watching us over the night and we are never away from your control and from your influence keep keep us keep thy servant and all of us from presumptuous sins that it will we will not go against your word we will not run against your word thank you father for encouraging us and enlightening us from this beautiful psalm you are to be desired more than gold more than honey and the honeycomb i pray if anybody is bitter watching this give them sweetness of your word they will never be the same again thank you lord for this beautiful time bless us together in jesus name amen amen hope you are blessed by this uh, i would really love to see your uh, feedbacks your remarks info at shelterhouse.in info at shelterhouse.in hope to finish psalm 150 one day um, till then let's keep learning keep studying let's learn the word of god together god bless you